Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you can hear that. It is raining very, very hard right now. Um, just a bad day. Just an overall bad day, ladies and gentlemen. Just a bad day. Hold on, give me a second. Um, so the Bills lose 21-19 uh, to the Miami Dolphins, and um, I'm not going to sit up here and, and just make excuses um, as far as the amount of players that we lost in this game. I'm not going to make that. Um, we had the players that we put out there today, and we lost. Simple as that. Uh, we blew opportunities. Uh, we had a pick six that we dropped. We had a touchdown that we dropped. Josh Allen missed. Uh, uh, Josh Allen missed a wide open Isaiah McKenzie uh, on the right side of the end zone. Um, we had opportunities to win this game. Even after the punter kicked the ball right in right on the defender's ass, we still had an opportunity with a minute and 37 left to win this game, and we didn't do it. Um, I just Whether if we would have won this game or not, I just wanted to get the fuck out of Miami. I mean... I never, again, I'm not a big fan of the cold, but let me tell you something right here. I can't wait until we play Miami in the cold. I will be there at that game, um, and but I will say this. This rivalry is back. The rivalry is back. It is rejuvenated, and I can't wait for it. I will be at that game. I don't care if it's 10 degrees, 5 degrees, 0 degrees, snowing. I don't give a shit. I will be at that game. Um, this game right here, ladies and gentlemen, we should, I, I, uh, I talked about this before in my earlier Bills videos. The Bills will only lose to the Buffalo Bills. Now, again, I'm going to give credit to Miami because they did a hell of a job. Their defense came up and made some really, really critical stops. But we also had what we but we literally also had we left points on the board. Turnovers became a huge issue. Avoidable issues, by the way, if Sean McDermott would have just called the timeout uh, because we were we were confused. There were like two seconds left on the clock. We weren't even set and we forced it. Sean McDermott should have called the timeout. Josh Allen or Sean, one of those two guys. That's an avoidable mistake. We save points on the board if we do that. That resulted, that turnover resulted in a touchdown. Uh, we Guys, we just missed on so many opportunities. I mean, this video could be an hour long on the amount of opportunities that we missed. Um, it, another thing too, guys, this weather was killer. This weather was very, very killer. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be talking about this stadium. Listen, I've been talking about Hard Rock Stadium for years, both for college and for uh, and for the pros. Playing in Miami in the first three to four weeks of the season has got to be one of the most brutal things I have ever seen. I've been talking about that for years. Now everyone now everyone wants to kind of talk about it. It wasn't a problem we kept winning in Miami, um, but it's always been a problem, right? The best place, the best, I mean, again, if you're playing in Miami in November, October, November, that sun, sh that that sunlight, that sun shit is not really going to mean anything. But when you're playing in September, when it's still hurricane season, it, it, no, it's going to be humid as all hell. Everyone's going to be cramping. The sunlight is going to be directed. Hell, we missed our right tackle because of the illness. We actually missed two or three players in this game because of the heat. Now, again, do I think the NFL should do something about this? I said this four years ago when Har I, I said this around, I think, what, three, four years ago, that they need to do something about that damn stadium. Because it is it is brutal to play in Miami in the first four games. That's why it's one of the most difficult places to play in the NFL, and and it, it's it's one of the most difficult places to play. And honestly, I don't under I, how the fuck if you're a Hurricanes fan, how do you not take advantage of that damn stadium? I I don't know. Um, but yeah, guys, you know, but I'm not gonna sit up here and use the stadium that much as an excuse. Um, because like I said, you can't you no matter how much you try to hydrate, you can't really prepare for it. It is what it is. You got to come prepared, and you got to come prepared with the game plan. Um, we did a really good job of not letting Miami back on the field, and when they and when they were on the field, they didn't really capitalize that much on on a lot of opportunities. Granted, they scored twenty one points, but that's what I wanted them to do, right? When you miss Tre'Davious White, when you miss Dane Jackson, when you miss uh, Christian Benford, who was out the rest of the game game, so we had to put our third string cornerback out there. Uh, DeMar, again, Micah Hyde's out for the rest of the year. Jordan Poyer's out. All, like, we, Jordan Phillips, gone. Oliver, gone. When you miss all these players, 21 points is a fucking luxury. Like, that is something that, that if, if you were to, if you were to tell me yesterday, or a little bit earlier this morning, that the Miami Dolphins would only score 21 points, I'm like, oh, we're, we're, we're gonna win this game. 
We had an opportunity to, we had so many opportunities to win this game and we didn't do it. Why? Because the only team that beats the Buffalo Bills are themselves. This is what, this is the same shit that happened last year. This happened against the Kansas City Chiefs when we had 13 seconds to win the game. We don't capitalize in the crucial moments in these opportunities, in these opportunistic times. We don't capitalize. And like I said, guys, Colin Cowherd said this right. I thought that this was a pretty crap analogy, but I actually believe that this is true. We are the Mike Tyson of the AFC. When we win, we're blowing you out. It's it's a blowout when we win. When we lose, I mean, when we lose, it's either a close game. We may get blown out here or there. But for the most part, when we lose, it's mainly close. I'm going to reiterate it this again. When we win games, it's a blowout. When we lose games, it's either close, sometimes can be a blowout, but it's mainly close. And it's because we don't capitalize on the opportunities that teams are literally handling uh, handling us. Tua gave us a pick six. Literally gave us a, a pick six. And a lot of people will sit up here and say, well, you know, if Tua had more time out there, they would have scored more. Well, guess what? Our defense was actually doing a good job of limiting you guys off of the field. We, we did a really good job with Tua. Let's be honest. We did a really good job. Now, granted, he got concussed. Or I believe he got concussed. I don't know. They're saying he had back issues prior to the game and that when he landed on his back, that's the reason why he collapsed. I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm hoping that that's the case because if, it, if this is a concussion, if we find out that this is a concussion, the NFL is going to have to step and investigate because I don't care if Miami or if we would have won or Miami would have won. I don't care. Player safety fucking matters. And by the way, again, Tua is one of my favorite quarterbacks. Again, I'm a huge Alabama fan. So I always so when Tua went down, the first thing I tweeted was that, dude, that's a dirty ass hit by Milano. I don't think it was malicious intent, but it was extremely dirty. I'm going to be the first one to come out. We got to be fair by that. But guys, we sh we got we should have won this game. We should have won this game. But again, the should have, would have, could have. I'm tired of coming up here and sit up here and saying this. Now, again, if we would have played a signed football, capitalized on all the opportunities and still lost, we just lost to the better team. But it honestly felt like we simply just like we simply handed Miami this football game. And the funny part is, towards the end of the game, Miami was trying to hand us the win and we didn't want to take it. So even when Miami was giving us opportunities, we didn't even want to sit up there and take it. This is the type of shit that I am talking about with the Buffalo Bills, man. And this is why, this is why that it, this is why when we lose games at times and I get so frustrated, it's 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 because we sell, we don't take advantage of what teams are trying to give us. Now we lose not just a crucial divisional game, but next week we have to go to Baltimore on the road at Baltimore in a very tough environment with, with, with I, don't know, I don't even know how many starters are out. Like we had at least, what, what, 10 or 11 starters out? Now we have to go into that game banged up. Oh boy, the NFL is a cruel ass world, boy. It's a cruel ass world. But anyway, guys, that's, that's going to do it for me. Congratulations to the Miami Dolphins, uh, especially shout out to Nathan. Um, huge friend of a uh, huge friend of my family. I know he's been he's been wanting Miami to win for a long time. He's gonna talk his shit. But congratulations to him. Congratulations to all Dolphins fans out there. You guys deserve this win, and uh, we'll we'll see you guys again very very soon. I will be at that game. Guarantee you it. So any Dolphins fans that want to meet up on that particular day, let me know. But yeah, guys, I'm excited. The rivalry is now back. Buffalo, we got to regroup. We got Baltimore. Let's get it. Uh, let's get it. Playoffs, divisional, conference crown, it is still in our wake. We got to go out there, execute, and if we can do that, we'll be fine. Go Bills.